Ciao, I'm Cesare Castella, I'm the Chief Department Nourishment Art at the Center for Discovery in Sullivan County, New York, in the Catskill. The Center for Discovery is a special place where we take care for multiple disabled and complex individuals. I am in charge for the farming and the culinary team and the nutritional team. Today we're going to prepare the bistecchini di maiale in padella con capperi di pantelleria. Pork chop in the saté with the capers from the pantelleria and the we pair with the prosecco DOC toasty 1820. So we start with the some good olive oil. Rosemary, garlic, salt, some pepper. It's about a three, four minutes. You make sure that you have the oven ready, about 400 degrees. At the same, you try to stir. Why isn't this way? I like it to cook the pork the fat fat. We take the prosecco, the toasty. Let's say open. So I choose this prosecco because I think that with the pork, it's a very um, good to use something sparkly. They are not too sweet, and at the same time, they give it a fruit flavor. You want to make it should have this color because the water they make it, they form the crust outside, they keep all the flavor inside. So we add the olive. I like to use a couple of type, different types of olive, like the Castel Vetrano, Granada, uh, the black olive, and the capers from Salina. So oregano. So now we need to put the okay. Let's put it back here. So we cook it for a few minutes. We let like to reduce the wine. So now we have the olive, the capers, the garlic, the rosemary. With the wine, they're going to be all this nice flavor. We let it reduce a few minutes, and then we're going to add the tomato. Like you see, this looks like a weird tomato, but it's uh, what are we doing here at the center? Uh, we grow in the summertime, and uh, we preserve. In this case, we experimented to frozen the tomato and then we discover for the sauces are great. So you can cut, but I, I, I like to make a little bit of mess. And the idea, uh, this you see is a lot of juice. And then why I, I brown before, uh, because now I wanted the juice to come at this uh, sauce, a lot of sauce because the idea is that when you eat your pork chop, you have the way that you can dip your, uh, your bread. We add some fulvi, genuino, is a pecorino romano. So before you put in the oven, I like to add some the fresh lemon. The lemon, because it gives so much this the Mediterranean flavor. Okay, ready for the oven. And we want only a few minutes for to make it melt the cheese on top. So I like it to leave all the pieces, the, the fat here, because it's so, so flavor. So we're going to put this in the sauce. Like I say, we want to make it sure. For the rosmarino, here the pork chop with the Pantelleria capers e prosecco tosti.
Prosecco e Parchop. What is the best? Uh, today we're drinking Tosti 1820, perfect Prosecco with uh, only 11 uh, alcohol percentage. So with the pork, the flavor together, they make a great meal.